Hello everyone, welcome to this course on Solana. As you know, Solana is one of the biggest blockchains in the history of the world. In this lesson, we are going to understand why. So, to start with, we can identify Solana with three functions. First, it's high performance. Next, it's scalability. And finally, it's low transaction cost. Now, as I said, these are the three main selling points of Solana. It actually has much more. Important because you're going to have nine, ten, maybe you know, firms trying to, you know, build ETF products. That's nine, ten sales forces going out and telling the Bitcoin story, mm -hmm. and after that, they'll tell the Ethereum story and probably the Solana story. And so we're going to bring institutional capital into a space which has been dominated by retail. Hello, YouTube. It's Black Tiger Miner here. Welcome you guys back to the Black Tiger Miner YouTube channel. And as the new year has started, new year, new you. So we're going to look at more than just Caspa. And I have been looking at Solana for a while. So let's talk about Solana as well. And it looks like the Caspa, Crypto.com has a new trading pair. So it looks like Chris, Crypto.com has a new trading pair. So it's Helium and Solana. Uh, o R C K and Solana, J T O and Solana, and M E N D E and Solana, which is all new. So let's see if we can understand that and get back to it. But uh, this is Do You Smell a Binance listing? And this is a Caspa posting. And it says Caspa is number one, and number two is Solana. Solana from the uh, Yatoshi uh, product. And from there, I've been just researching it. And this is the other announcement about that trading pair for uh, Solana and Helium. Helium is the native token. Well, HTN is the native token of Helium, a blockchain-based network that connects IoT devices that migrated to Solana in past year of 2023. And I didn't know Helium was also on the Solana network. I know some people with some Helium miners, and I didn't know that it was attached to the Solana network. So, yeah, I got to do a lot of research to catch up with Solana because there's a lot going on here. Solana jumps 11% to clinch the fourth place in the crypto market ranking. And then you have Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, Tether, and Solana. Blockchains natively cryptocurrencies up 11% in the last 24 hours to trade at $115. The gain coincides with the wider crypto market rebound, which saw Bitcoin reach 45,000 for the first time in nearly two years. So, as Bitcoin is on the rise, it's bringing everybody else up with them. And you can see here that Solana is definitely going. Uh, parabolic with the Bitcoin rise. 2024 going to be Ethereum's year or Solana's. Solana has emerged as one of the top performing cryptocurrencies of the year, with Bloomberg even labeling them as crypto's next big thing. Uh, after almost hitting a $125 this month, the price of Solana and the world's fourth largest crypto currency by Market capitalization recently lost 10% of its own price despite its DeFi decentralized finance protocol reaching new trading volumes. It's not bleak though. Solana's price is still up 75% higher than it was last November. And I wish I would have got in last year. I've been seeing it and I've been hearing people talking about it. And I've just been tunnel vision on Casper. But uh, I'm looking to diversify. Right, there's going to be a lot of winners in this next bull run, so we need to start researching now and kind of make sure we're involved in a lot of different projects. I'm not trying to stretch you guys too thin, but definitely give a look at Solana as a popular rival to Ethereum, the world's second largest crypto after Bitcoin and. Many are wondering if 2024 might be a breakout year for Solana. Regardless of what's happened in 2024, Solana's already sprung up as one of the top performing cryptocurrencies of 2023. Uh, in the past, 
November saw Solana notching more than 70% in gains in 2024. Some crypto experts are opting that the network, which is the favor among DeFi developers, will continually continue and steadily growth. But the volatility of the network and explosion of scams in Solana's DeFi space inevitably bring its own set of challenges. Moreover, while Solana boasts an impressive market cap, it still lags behind Ethereum. Solana's Ethereum enjoyed a rebound in 2023, as I was expected to jump to $5,000 in 2024. So are striking even more buoyant tones, expecting reach to staggering 8,000 by 2026. So this is really interesting. For example, one JP Morgan analyst believes Ethereum's impending uh, proto dank sharking update might catalyst to jump the price to 8000 in 2026. A manager of director at JP Morgan says it's even possible for the second largest crypto to enjoy a superior performance to Bitcoin. Interesting. And so we read that already. And this is the actual Solana page. And this is where I saw that. Let's see here. Yeah, case studies. Uh, Helium brings real world 5G networks on Solana. And then I've heard about the Hive Mapper. So I might check that as well. So let me know if you guys are interested in this and if anybody is using that Hive Mapper or if you're still mining Helium. I suspect the price of helium probably went up recently as well. So we'll look at that one too. Let's check the crypto bubbles real quick. Where are they? The bubble Solana is down 3% and I was mainly coming here to look for helium. Okay, so helium is down 5.7%. Uh, Neural AI is down 8%. Cardano's down 3%, Beam's up 7%, Flux is up 3%, and that's pretty much it. HBAR's up 5.8%, Cast is up 1.3%, uh, Pepe's up 3.3%, and let's look at the numbers for Solana. So Solana's at 108, market cap is 46 billion, uh, trading volume is 3.6 billion, volume versus cap is 7.8. In the last hour, it's up 1.28%. Last 24 hours is down 2.74. Last seven days, it's up one or down 1.12%. Last 30 days is down 69.97. Last 90 days, it's up 368. And for the year, it's up 878. So this does look pretty close to uh, Casper, almost like Casper's big brother or something. Uh, Circuit supply is 430 million. Total supply is 566 million. Uh, total cap is 61 billion. Eight, um, 24 hour low is 106. 24 hour high is 116. Oh, wow, that's a 10 cent swing or a $10 swing, actually. And yeah, I started looking at Solana. Probably right around here. Sometime in November, I picked up a couple of tokens for, I think it was 40-something. Maybe it was 50 right here at 50. And from there, it's went up to uh, 115. So, yeah, it was definitely pretty profitable. So, let me know what you guys think. And if you guys get in back... Uh, when it was in the $20 range, which I wish I would have uh, started investing, let's see, back here when it was $15 a share versus uh, 100 and what is that, 15 So you would have made $100 per Solano token. So yeah, I kind of missed the boat on that. But uh, I still got in before it took off. Um Coin market, or sorry, Coin Gecko has it ranked at five. Uh, it's at 108, down 3.1%. Uh, market cap is 46 
billion. Trading volume is 3.5 billion. Uh, fully diluted is 61 billion. And look at the coin gecko price is 108. 24 hour low is 106.5. 24 hour high is 116.70 cents. Seven day low is 98 cents, 98 dollars, sorry. And seven day high is 116 dollars. Trading volume is 3.5 million in the last 24 hours. Market cap is five. Market cap ranks number five. Uh, market cap is forty six billion. All time high is two hundred and fifty nine dollars and ninety six cents. So they're still down fifty eight percent from the all time high, which is two years ago. So I guess we didn't get in too too late. I wish I had got in maybe five cents or or fifteen dollars. But hey, I got in still. And it's still a long way, 50% from the all-time high. So let me know what you guys think about that as well. And uh, coin market cap says it's down 3%. Trading market cap is $28.4 billion. 24-hour volume is $3.4 billion. Interesting. And, of course, it's on Binance and Coinbase. I think that's what Casp is missing. But let me know what you think about that as well. And we'll look at the day chart. And looks like around November. What is this? Maybe October and November is when it really started to run. And you can see here um, RSI is up. RSI is over that 60% or 70. And that's pretty much when you see the green candles blowing up. You can see by volume building, a MACD cross, the volume decreased, had some pullback, a MACD crossed again, the volume picked up. And here, the volume pretty much exploded. And that would probably be at the end of the year. And now it's consolidating. And I think it's gearing up for another push. Uh, within a week or so, or probably right around the time the Bitcoin ETF get approved. So let me know what you guys think about that and what you think about Solano. You want to keep making Solano videos or just stick to Casper, or do we need to diversify? But remember, Casper, 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 and uh, let's get back to the money, guys. <laughs>